Hi, and welcome to Applied Geotechnics and Engineering Geology at UNSW. To start with, you need to know that this course is divided into two parts. Part A focuses on engineering geology, so that's the geo part of geotechnical engineering. My aim here is to give you a good understanding of geology, including how geological materials are formed, their characteristics, and how to describe them both ge in geological terms and engineering terms. By the end of the course, I hope you have an improved understanding of the various challenges different geological environments may have for all of our different types of engineering projects. The second part of the course covers applied geotechnics. So that represents the design stage of your geotechnical project. This will require you to, st to study the conventional methods for the design and analysis of common geotechnical constructions. So that it includes shallow foundations, deep or pile foundations, retaining walls, etc. Note that for many of you, this will be your final course in geotechnical engineering. So I do hope you gain an appreciation of some of the complexities of geotechnical engineering. To do well in the course, you'll need to review some of the content from your previous engineering courses and in particular from soil mechanics. So hopefully you'll have a reasonable understanding of the basic uh, way that we classify soils, how soils behave as we impose stresses or strains on them, and the impact that groundwater has on our engineered structures. We'll also provide you with some revi online revision sources, so if you've forgotten things over the break, you can catch up. What I'd expect at the end of this course um, is that you should be able to know or uh, relate the real world geological environment, so complete with all the complexity and variability, to your existing knowledge of your classroom soil, so the stuff that you learn about in soil mechanics. You should also be able to take your geological and soil mechanics knowledge and perform basic geotechnical engineering designs. So if you want to know more about this and what I'm after, please go and look at the course profile, so that'll uh, be on Moodle and you'll probably get a, co a copy of it in class as well. So have a look at the learning outcomes we're after, maybe also look at the Engineers Australia competency standards, see how they link together. To help you through this whole journey of this course, we've created this Moodle site for you. In that Moodle site you'll be able to find a whole heap of resources, so not only things like lecture notes and past papers, but a heap of digital assets that we've created. So we're trying to focus on getting those learning outcomes, doing the best job we can. I really encourage you to go and try and take full advantage of all the things we've developed for you. So what have we developed? We've got a 3D digital rock collection. So no longer do you need to squeeze into the corridor with 500 students to look at our rocks. You can look at 3D digital versions even when you're not on campus. We've created some animations for you. So these animations teach you the basics of geology, how different soils and rocks f uh, form, so that you'll understand those geological processes and what they mean for engineering. When we're doing engineering of the ground, we really need to be able to think and visualize and communicate in three dimensions. And that can be quite a challenge. So what we've done is we've given you a few resources. There's a block modeling visualization tool and there's a stereo net plotting type tool where you can visualize and plot data in three dimensions. So have a go at that. Try and get your head around this 3D visualization. As you may know by now, there's an important part of the course which is understanding the real world. We can't learn that just by sitting in a lecture theatre. We can't learn that by looking at a textbook. We've got to get out into the field and that's why the geological component of the course includes a number of field trips and then assignments related to those. Now, there are an awful lot of you. So it's really unfeasible for me and probably unsafe to take all 500 of you out on site. So what we've done is we've created a virtual me that will give you some assistance. So I'll take you through ways to get ready for the field trip and also give you tips out on site uh, through videos and interactive tools. 
One of the interactive tools we've done is, is we've created a 3D, uh, 360 degree interactive activity. So we'll immerse you in Bronte before you go there. So you'll know what you're going to be looking at, know what you're going to be mapping and recording data. So it should help uh, when you get down there. So make sure you watch them. Um, I think you'll enjoy them. I hope you do get to look at me. Um, and also make sure you learn from them so that then maximize on-site time out in the field. You don't have to spend days out there and also you'll get better marks. Finally, for the second part of our course, we've developed six Moodle lessons. And they're six Moodle lessons linked to the topics of, of Applied Geotech and linked to your workshops. So the idea is that you will go and do those Moodle lessons before the workshop. They'll take you through a work solution, like an exam question. And at the end of it, they'll also do a parametric simulation. So you can learn about the effect of different parameters on say a retaining wall, for example. So make sure you go through those. They'll really help with your workshops. Make sure you also go through them before the exam because it'll help you with your exam uh, questions as well. Uh, in conclusion, overall, I really hope you enjoy the course. Um, I hope that you can learn as much as you can this semester. I'm sure that the things that you'll learn, the knowledge you gain will be extremely helpful in your career even if you take some evil dark path and avoid geotechnical engineering. I invite you to be active and to think and behave as a professional and not just as a student in this course. Give me lots of feedback. What would you like? What are you thinking? I'm looking forward to seeing you in class. See you later.